Good morning, how's everybody doing today? On today's video, it's gonna be a short video. It's gonna be doing an unboxing of this new product that I bought. So let's go ahead and get this box open up and show you what we got. Take a look at it. Comes with some screws. You have the waterer. Looks like the uh, water nipple with some um, seals. Top to the feeder, top to the waterer, and they actually have it labeled waterer, and it says feeder. These are the um, pieces that's gonna go inside the feeder, the uh, almost like the little PVC pieces that's going in there. You have another um, water, and I like that they all have rubber um, gaskets around them, little seals. Then it comes with um, some more mountain hardware and some S um, hooks. Then you have your actual water with the holes, like I said, for two gallons. And then you actually have your um, 10 pound feeder with the two uh, holes for the PVC inputs. So inside of the um, water, they had an instruction booklet. Tells you how to assemble it. So this is just a fold out pamphlet, let's see. But it tells you the steps to putting it together. I think it folds out one more time. Yeah. Now that's what it's gonna end up looking like once we get it all assembled. <laughs> So I stopped and installed to show you this right quick. So you got the little water right there. You can either use the little cup like this right here, or you can use the little water nipples like this right here. So if you use the uh, water, it'll look like that right there. If you use the little uh, nipple thing, it'll look like that right there. But I'm gonna go with this right here. See how that's gonna work out. All right, y'all, so there we have them both put together. So we got the feeder right here that holds 10 pound capacity. Then we have the um, two gallon water, and we got the little uh, watering cups on there versus using the little water nipples there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you my reason for go ahead and purchasing this um, new chicken feeder and chicken water. But I also wanna show you that inside, if you decide to have baby chicks, they actually sell a little incubator. Didn't know that, but not looking to get no baby chicks, not at this present time. But let me go show you the reason why I end up purchasing this right here. So this right here is the omelet igloo chicken coop. 
not gonna do a review on this if you want to check out um the review i did one one of my first videos i did when i started this channel but this is the omelet igloo chicken coop and you can see the waterer and the feeder that it comes with so it comes with this water right here that sits open like that right there and it attaches onto the uh, fence like this right there same thing with the feeder the feeder has a uh, top on it to prevent rain water from getting into it and it sits and leans down like that right there let me uh give me one second let me open this up so i can get a better look at it right quick all right hello hey girls y'all doing y'all um debut well, it ain't a debut because i think i show y'all on every video i just want to say hey to everybody all right all right so here's a better look at the feeder so the feeder um uh, sits like that right there and then it, it has like a little slant to it so that the rainwater just run off but it's open up in the front like that and what's happening is my chickens are going there and eat and drop half the food down on the um, ground and that okay calm down no pecking on the phone and that right there is costing me some money because i'm losing a lot of feed because i move them every day in this chicken tractor and then with that feed sitting on the ground then you're starting to get squirrels birds rodents and i don't mind the birds and the squirrels but the rodents i do not want back here so it's spilling a lot of um stuff on the ground so that's what made me go and try to purchase something different so it'll be um less food being spilled on the ground and that's gonna help me save money okay now with this feeder right here there is two ways that you can go and attach it to your coop in my case i'm gonna use the little s hooks and i'm gonna attach it like that right there onto the uh chicken wire but if you have wood it actually comes with screws and i've seen the picture in here somewhere da -da 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 -da. like that right there and you can just screw it and attach it to your uh, chicken coop. So let's go ahead and get them put in the chicken tractor and get them filled up with some food and some water. And let's see how long it take the chickens to figure out what it is and if they like it. All right, so we got them put in the inside. And I hate when they put stickers on the um, product itself because sometimes they peel off, sometimes they don't. That one peeled off good. This one, uh, not so much. But um, like I said, the reason being, I did not want that um, extra food falling on the ground from them pecking in there, bringing rodents and stuff. And with the water, this right here help keep it a little cooler I think with it having a top on it and then it'll be um more protected because I know when they did it the other way it was full up with dirt and with this way right here hopefully the uh, little cups don't get filled up with dirt and then maybe I can just come in the morning when it gets real hot drop a couple ice cubes in there to keep the water a little cool with the feed see how it is down there so it's protected from the elements the other one was too but with this right here it's not gonna be no food spillage because how the tube goes down there, the little PVC pipe goes down in there. So they have to stick their head in there and then they have the piece where the food will fall down. So, you know, gravity will do its thing. Same thing with this right here, gravity will do its thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish getting the food filled up and um, go ahead and put the tops on and then we're gonna see how long it's gonna take the chickens to figure out what they got going on here. All right, so we have everything topped off and filled up. See how long it's gonna take the chickens to realize they got something new. And then one thing I like about this is you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but you can actually see through it to see how high the water is. And you can see through it to see how high the um, feed is in there. So you know when to go ahead and um, refill it. But um, before I got this omelet igloo chicken coop, what I was using was just a regular old 
chicken feeder for when you have like baby chicks and stuff. And then, you know, the regular little uh, feeder that hangs and then the water that hangs. And like I say, with that right there, they was getting a lot of dirt uh, in the water and they're still spilling a lot of um, food. But I was using that before I got this, this omelet igloo chicken coop. And then transitioned to those because they came with the coop itself. And now we're gonna get these to uh, try and see how that's gonna work out. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on time. But well, look, look like one of them is curious now. But I'm gonna throw the video on time lapse and we're just gonna see how long it's gonna take them to figure out what's going on. So after me looking at it, I don't know if y'all see how the omelet igloo coop, it leans from how the design is made, which is okay for the water, but look how low that food is right there. So I'm gonna lift that up. Now I, I'm thinking that's why they're not going to it. I didn't pay attention to how low it's sitting down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that lifted up and then we're gonna see what the um, chicken's gonna do. All right, so we got it lifted up. And like I said, there's one opening right there. And then there's one on this side right here. So they have two options of where they want to go and eat. Yeah, and that's high enough. I might end up putting something different down. I don't know. I have to mess with it. Like I said, you know, once I get some land, I do them a bigger coop that I can actually walk inside, build one. But this would do right now, working with what I got. Y'all gonna check it out or what? I know y'all curious. <laughs> All right, I'll just see him being curious, looking and glancing. Well, it looked like one of them is exploring. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to share this with y'all you know maybe somebody else was looking for a new chicken feeder and waterer so like i said i wanted to just try something new to keep the rodents look at that there they go keep the rodents away and the squirrels and all and i definitely want to do that because i don't want them coming here because of my garden and i don't want them getting into that and just because you know rodents carry a lot of diseases and stuff so all right they're over there exploring it they don't they don't figure out what's in there because they're in their picking so we're gonna see if they get a lot of waste i do an update and let y'all know until then we'll see you on the next one figured it out. It didn't take them long. Did not take them long. So I noticed with the design of the omelet igloo chicken coop, like I was telling y'all earlier, how it's leaning. I noticed that it's leaning over and it's making food spill. And I look, because how it's designed, it's designed to be straight, but with the design of this coop, it's leaning. So I'm gonna just take this little cheap little ball Put it on the back side to push that out and see if that's gonna help out. And yes, I know I could have built this right here, but I decided to just go ahead and uh, pick something up real quick. No, I could have built it a lot cheaper, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. All right, so my simple hack did work out. As you can see, the coop is straight now, but the chickens are curious and they're pecking on it. So it might be only a matter of time before they bust a little ball but they think there's little bugs on it so they pecking on it but it is straight so hopefully this wasn't an epic fail we're gonna see I'm gonna um, sit and watch it for a while cause I see this food already that um, spilled out you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and move the chicken tractor and then I'm gonna uh, 
see if any food spills. All right, y'all. So my little quick fix worked out. We're gonna see if the food's gonna spill. And I think these for when my kids was younger, these little balls right here from Dave and Buster's. I stuck one behind the waterer and have that one straightened out now. And I stuck one behind the feeder and now that's straight. So the moment of truth to see if it was an epic fail and a waste of money for me to buy this or is it gonna solve my problem and stop the feed from falling on the ground? And I apologize for the wind too, y'all. But uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on it and I'll let y'all know, yay or nay. <coughs> All right, y'all. So here it is an hour later and I only see like two pieces of chicken feed down on the ground so it seems to be working so it wasn't a total waste but um i definitely give y'all an update in a future video and let you know how it's been working out so until then y'all have a great and hopefully productive day